After the commencement of the strike by the three teacher unions on Monday, the National Labour Commission scheduled a meeting to deliberate on the issues on Tuesday. The meeting was, however, held without the representatives from the teacher unions as they claimed they were out of town engaging on an equally important assignment. After the meeting, the NLC declared the action illegal because it did not follow due process and asked them to return to work. This ruling, the teacher unions say, is unfair and one-sided, for which reason they will not return to the classrooms. We feel that they have not followed the course of natural justice. We know that in our justice system, if you are a case with someone, at least the two of you have to be in court. Our worry is that when the invitation was sent to us on Monday, we wrote that our leadership had traveled out of town and that we will fix another time convenient to meet. They didn't even acknowledge our letter, only for us to hear that they've taken a decision, had a meeting with the, our employers and have ordered us back to the classroom. On Wednesday, teachers absented themselves from school, going contrary to the NLC's ruling on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the NLC has sought a court order to compel the unions to end the strike. Deputy Secretary Fonat says this is unfair. In a statement cited by City News, a sum of 49,998,626 Ghana cities and 72 pesos has been authorized as far back as September to be released to enable the Director General of the Ghana Education Service pay outstanding transfer grants and other allowances to qualified staff of GES from 2017 to 2019. Meanwhile, the teacher unions say they have submitted a letter to meet with the National Labour Commission on Friday. Our leadership has written today, I even delivered a letter myself, that, and it's true they are not around. You know, this three teacher union that organized the strike, and since we are on strike, people take advantage to do whatever they want. Some have traveled outside there. We had also planned our programs. So tomorrow, God's willing, in the evening, they will be in town, and Friday, in the morning will be at the NLC to listen to whatever they have and the letter has been delivered. The three teacher unions say they are not rescinding their decision of striking until they meet with the National Labour Commission on Friday. Reporting for City News, my name is Kweku Edyama Ansa.